Howdy folks, Andy Tran here with Inner Bark Outdoors. In this video, I'm gonna go over angle shooting. Angle shooting varies quite a bit from flatland shooting, and not just the fact that you're aiming up and down, there's a whole mathematical component to make sure that you don't miss high. If you guys are interested in this video, go ahead and watch forward. We're gonna go over a few different ways on how to measure angle, and then how to compensate for it so that you get the perfect shot. We'll go over how to determine the angle of your shot using different instruments like the Mill Dot Master, a compass with an inclinometer, the angle cosine indicator, and how to use a modern rangefinder. It's helpful to know a little bit of the math that's behind this before we get into it. Trigonometry is best explained using a unit circle, where the radius is 1. The x-axis is going to represent horizontal, and the y-axis is going to represent vertical. Gravity, last time I checked, runs perpendicular to the horizontal axis. We're going to be working in the first quadrant because we're only going to be working with positive values. In this explanation, the shooter is going to be at the origin where the x and y axis intersect. Our target is going to be at a higher elevation. As shown in the diagram, a right triangle can be formed using these three points. The value that we're going to be interested in is the horizontal distance. And to find this, we're going to use cosine. Going back to high school math, a lot of you will remember SOKATOA. The ka stands for cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we plug in those numbers, we're going to get x over 1. The x value is the horizontal distance, and 1 is our radius, which is also our hypotenuse. The 1 cancels itself out because any value divided by 1 still stays the same value. If we're shooting horizontally or at 0 degrees, we have a full value of gravity because we are shooting completely perpendicular to gravity. At this extreme, the cosine is 1, because our x value is 1. If we're shooting straight up and down vertically, also 90 degrees, you have a 0 value for gravity. As you can see, there is a 0 value for x, even though the bullet is traveling that full value. A lot of outdoorsy folks already have a compass, and a lot of the compasses these days have a built-in inclinometer, which allows you to measure angles of slopes. In this video, I'm going to be using the Silva Ranger. Fold the compass at 45 degrees so that you can read the number while you're behind the rifle. Place the compass on the flat part of your rifle like the elevation turret. Now you're going to need to enter the cosine button and the number from the compass. This will give you a cosine value. At this point, you'll need to multiply this decimal value by your line of sight distance to get your angle modified distance. A really important thing to note is while you're using your angle modified range to dial in your elevation, you're going to need your line of sight distance to help you with your windage. To use your Mill Dot Master's angle compensation tool, you'll need a weighted string at the origin of the scale. An adjustable string allows you to get accurate readings. Place the Mill Dot Master on the flat part of your rifle, like on the turret, and read off the angle. With your line of sight distance dialed in the mill dot master, find the line that corresponds to the angle of your shot. This will be your angle modified distance. A quick and easy way to always have a tool on you is to install something like the angle cosine indicator. It gives you your cosine value instantaneously so that you can multiply your value quickly with a calculator or use mental math and get pretty darn close. Most high-end rangefinders these days have an angle shooting function which gives you your angle modified range and light of sight ranges instantaneously. The downside to technology like a laser rangefinder is a lot of people rely too heavily on it and they fail to understand the difference between angle modified range and line of sight distance. You'll need your angle modified range for your elevation and you'll need your line of sight distance for your windage. So it's important to know which mode you're on. The Sig Sauer Kilo 2000 will read you out your angle along with your line of sight distance. So you can do the calculations manually if you choose to. 
So that is angle shooting. This is a really good skill to know and it's a skill that you can practice without expending any ammunition. So it's pretty inexpensive to practice. If you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps you know these are the kind of videos you wanna see. But as always, take care out there, bye.